Good morning. I'm just about to embark on my fourth round of golf this year. And you've seen I've got aim issues, I've got takeaway issues, I'm full of mechanical problems, as well as what's going on in here. How on earth do you play golf when your head is full of swing mechanics trying to fix your problems and your brain is basically a little bit in negative mode or certainly clogged up with lots and lots of thoughts. Well, the first tee is just behind us, so uh, let's go and find out. Right, here we go. I've had a little warm up, so I should be ready for this. So I'm going to go through a very slow routine with every shot. I'm desperate to get it right to get my aim correct, which looks okay for left edge of the fairway with a fade, to try and sort out this takeaway, to get it coming back straight rather than round my backside. We started with a good shot, although it's a little left. So perhaps I wasn't aiming correctly. Poor lie, I'm just gonna try and get to the front of the green. Chip and putt from there. Ah, well, perhaps it was a little ambitious. The great thing about today is I have no expectations. I have no number in my head for what I'd like to score. I have no idea what's going to happen. This is only my fourth round. I can't expect great things out of my fourth round. Second is a dog leg left, so I want to draw it off the middle of the fairway to get round the corner. So I'm going three wood. A little bit of loft really does help you hit the draw. A bit like that. And yes, that did shock me. Ball below my feet, so I'm going to aim well left. Let the ground do the job and not fight against me. So aiming at the left end of the green, this looks pretty good. But I have let it go a bit. But then I'm out of practice with these sort of shots off slopes. But we're on the dance floor, downhill, left to right from my side. Now I haven't played these greens very much. I haven't had many rounds here. And as well as putting on what I can see, I also put on memory as well. I remember all these putts. I put them away and save them for later. It might not be six or seven weeks until I get that putt again, but I'll remember it. Up the hill, there's my target. It's a dog leg right with my little fade with the driver. I need to aim a little left. Make sure I get that takeaway better. I think I could stand a little closer to the ball, but these are all adjustments. And that is launched. In fact, I've run out of fairway coming down the hill. So on a down slope, again, I'm not going to fight the slope. I lean into it and I chase this club down the hill. It's the only way you can play it. And if you lose your balance and have to step forward, then do so. You're trying to stay upright in the same place when you're on a downslope. It's very difficult. Could even ruin your contact. So go with it. That's what I do. You know, one issue I've got right at the moment is I'm a quick player. I tend to get to the ball, assess the situation quickly and play. But I'm having to think everything. 
I've got to force myself to slow down to give myself the best chance until the autopilot kicks in and starts doing all of that for me without thinking about it I gotta slow down a dog leg to the right with water on the right so I've got to pick a tree in the left rough to aim at and then just let this four iron slide now I don't have any problem with this tee shot because it's a wide target but for some reason I have trouble with the next tee shot because it's a small target that might be my first proper wedge shot in months months and months no 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 Simon come on man flag is tucked behind the bunker so my target is left edge of the green and try and move it seven or eight yards in the air towards the flag but I am aiming a little too far left again I wonder if it's the shape of the T that's doing that I'll have to try harder next time another issue is I'm not playing a lot of golf at the moment once a week at best so there's big gaps of time between the last time I played and of course all the green keepers are catching up with their work so the speed and the bounce on the greens is always a, a bit of a surprise when you only play once a week but we'll get there all of us pretty decent drive now I'm not aiming at the back right flag here I'm aiming for the front left edge of the green and I've caught that a little heavy so it's not gonna go so I was aiming way over there on the right side of the screen and that little fat shot meant I was short and right not the best pitch in the world but we can always do what we did on the first for a par ah! I do not believe it. You get a nice view of the clubhouse from up here, so you can see how much we've climbed from the first tee. Now the reason I was laughing was because my six iron into this green spanned back about ten feet. Instead of taking that hop forward and releasing, it came back at me. There's, there's a bit of a slope on the front of the green, which is evident by my putt coming up short. I've really got to concentrate on those. Right, left edge of the fairway, down that dark stripe over there. And I'm actually set up correctly, but for whatever reason, I could not get comfy. So let's try it again. Pick my spot, a couple of feet in front of the ball, try and get 
parallel with that and this time I'm aiming down perhaps just right of the centre of the fairway which is not where I want to be. It's funny how confidence can mess up your game and I hit a big block. 8 iron to get back in play. That's all I could do. It's all I wanted to do. You know, it, this, that was not the position to gamble. Left again. But at least it's a decent shot. That really shows how the swing path has improved. That I'm hitting down on the ball, taking a divot, hitting the ball in the air. I'm using the face rather than the leading edge, you know, when you come in very shallow in, in to out. Don't know what happened on that tee box back there. I couldn't get comfortable. Couldn't get comfortable with where I was aiming. So I'm, I can't wait to get home, look at this one frame at a time and see what happened on that tee box. But you can see how fragile I am right now. Despite having a couple of mechanical moves that I'm thinking of and a couple of swing thoughts, I'm so fragile. A dog leg right and my target is a long way left. Fade it off that, use this fairway slope to get it even closer to the green. Good boy. Another ball below the feet shot. So aiming well left and just going to let it drift but I think I really need to find a spot on the practice ground to practice these. Oh, Simon. There's plenty of space here at the front of the green to fly in a sand wedge. But instead of that, I'm going to take the 9 iron, chip and run it, use the back of the bunker to bring the ball back to the hole. Tiny bit shy, but you get the idea. Turn in,
Missed by a cup. One cup. Twelfth, going with hybrid, and I'm aiming a fraction right, which is not what I want on this hole. There isn't much space out there. Not much space at all, and the flies are biting. Yeah, I'm not far off from the water hazard. Now I'm going to try a shot I haven't played, which is a 9-iron punch. I haven't played it, I haven't practiced it, and inevitably it goes wrong. Chip with a sand wedge. This is fairly easy, but I don't execute correctly. It's funny how this entire hole has been a mess, but then when you haven't played much, your mind is writing checks that your body can't cash. And I had this putt. I fell in love with the line. And then forgot to hit it. Oh, hit it Simon. That would have turned in lovely. You had everything, but you hit it. You forgot to hit it. Off to the par three. Flag is front right, very close to the bunker. Now it looks like I'm aiming it a long way left, and in fact I am. But I'm playing this off my back foot, so it's going to be a block and a cut, some height, some spin, a bit like that. See, I move the ball position around to create different shapes. <laughs> you could not make this up. You know, I talk about confidence of hitting a long iron. I don't have confidence on this T at the moment. So the mental mistake turns into a physical one. Every single time. It's in bounce on the left hand side. The line here is to the right of the poplar tree and I don't know why I just can't quite picture it at the moment. No choice but to go left of this tree and try and fade it back onto the fairway. <laughs> I don't believe this. I'm glad I'm playing reasonably well because I need the confidence and confidence grows confidence and it grows how well you strike the ball. Not so much that time. If I'd been playing rubbish, then the mind would wander and I'd play even worse. How do you fancy this putt? Yeah, really, there's that much break on the front. 14 is a very tough green. And that's why I like it. par five up the hill and it is tight as anything my target is always to fade it off the left hand hedgerow that can move the ball 15 yards 20 yards in the air and be in play but I was a little frightened of aiming all the way to the right where I wanted to be I tried to cut it ball above the feet not gonna happen ball below the feet. 
the lie isn't bad, but below the feet always brings in the possibility of getting a few two grooves low on the face. And the penalty then is that you go long. Down the hill. Not a bad read. That can't stop there. That, that just isn't right. That cannot stop there. Now, because I haven't played the last five months, I haven't been out walking. I've been sat behind the desk, mostly editing lots and lots of Thailand videos, amongst other things. So these two holes up the hill here really tire out a set of legs that have not been used for months on the upslope. So, you know, I've clubbed up a couple here and it turns out just right. And this 17th is a wonderful green too. <laughs> right, one hole to go. Now, I've gone out today with two mechanical thoughts and two swing thoughts and aim. So that's five things going on. And I was quite surprised that I've actually managed to put some sort of round of golf together. I really wasn't expecting that and of course it it frightened me, didn't it? Somewhere around about the 9th. Right, so this is Saturday. I'm not playing tomorrow. The wife's got the car. Wednesday I got three tonne of gravel coming that's got to be shoveled and wheelbarrowed around the back of the house. Um, so if you want to give me a hand with that, you know, just give us a shout. Um, three things. So I'm going to go to the range, I'm going to do the old seven iron feet together, the old half a swing sort of thing, which is really good for timing, for balance, and for making sure that all these bits and pieces work together. That is my number one drill that I ever do. Second thing I'm going to get, once I've finished the graveling, once the garden is finished, I'm going to go and get some treatment on my back. There's a, there's a Thai massage place and they're very good at relieving stiffness. So I'm gonna go and get some stiffness sorted out in my back. See if I can improve the way that I, can, I move. Not bad for 59 years old and 34 years behind a desk. And the third thing, next time I'm gonna wear long trousers because the flies today have, um, well, they've, they've dined on my legs and put me off on occasion. So I think it'd be long trousers in future. So last hole, hybrid as usual. Perhaps one time I'll come up here with the three wood and try and hit one of those long raking hooks into the green. But for today, I'll stick with a hybrid. Cheerio.